Dennis Keeley, 5'10". I'm beginning to wonder if you're even capable of having a good time. Why? Because I like to wear my gloves in the winter? No, because there isn't the least bit of adventure in you. You know, do you know what you are? You are a watcher. There's two types of people in this world. Watchers and doers. The watcher just sit there and watch. And the doers do. Last night, you watched, and I did. Yeah, well, it was harder for me to watch what you did than it was for you to do what I watched. You won't let your hair down for a minute. You couldn't even relax for one night. Poi, Paul. You act like such a good... Whoa, 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 what? What? A stuffed shirt? I didn't say it. Yeah, that's what we're implying. Yeah, well, that's what you're anticipating. I didn't say you were a stuffed shirt, but you're, you know, you're extremely proper and dignified. I, I'm proper and dignified? When, when? When am I proper and dignified? All right, the other night. Delfinos, uh -huh. you were drunk, right? I was stoned, yes. I didn't even know until the next morning when you told me. You're a weird kind of drunk. You know, you sit there and you look unhappy. And then watch your coat. I was watching my coat because someone else was watching my coat. Look, if you want, I can, I can go out and get drunk and you can watch me sometime. I'll show you a slob that'll make your hair stand on end. Is it necessary? Uh, you know, oh, 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 New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve at PJ Clark's. Okay, do you know I actually punched an old woman? Okay, so don't even tell me about drunks. <laughs> All right, Paul. Okay, okay, so what else? When else was I proper and dignified? All right, you're always dressed right, you always say the right things, and you always look right. You're very close to being perfect. Uh, that is a rotten thing to say. I have never seen you without a jacket. I look like a slob in comparison to you. And before we were married, I was pretty sure you slept with a tie. No, no, only the formal sleeps. You can't even walk into a candy store and ask the lady for a Tootsie Roll. You have to walk up to the counter and point and say, I'll have the thing in the brown and white wrapper. That's ridiculous. And you're not. That's just the trouble. Like Thursday night. Why wouldn't you walk barefoot in Washington Square Park with me? Very Why simple not? answer. It was 17 degrees. Exactly! Okay, that's sensible and logical. Where's the fun? Okay, okay. So maybe I'm just too proper and dignified for you. Maybe you're better off with someone a little bit more colorful and flamboyant like the geek. Well, there'd be a lot more laughs than a stuffed shirt. Oh, I thought you said it wasn't a stuffed shirt. Well, now you are. Oh, you know what? I don't have to hear this. I'm not going to hear this. I'm going to bed. That's it. I'm going. I got a court case in the morning. Where are you going? To sleep. How could you sleep right now? Very well, simple. I'm going to close my eyes and count Kenichis. Good night. You can't go to sleep. We're having a fight. You finish the fight. Turn the lights off when you're done. Oh, that makes me insane. You can even control your emotions. Look, I am just as upset as you are, okay? But when I'm hungry, I eat. When I'm tired, I sleep. You eat and sleep too. Don't deny it. I've seen Not you. Not in the middle of a crisis. What crisis? We're just yelling at each other. You don't consider this a crisis? Our whole marriage hangs in the balance. It does? When did that happen? It's suddenly very clear that you and I have absolutely nothing in common. Why? Because I won't go barefoot with you in the park in the winter? That's ridiculous. Okay, Corey, you have no case. Adultery, yes. Cold feet, no. Don't oversimplify this. Can't you see that I'm angry? It's 2.15 in the morning. If I can get in, in the bed about a half hour from now, I could get about five hours sleep, and then I'll call you from the courthouse and we can finish our argument then, okay? You will not go to sleep. You will stay here and fight to save our marriage. If our marriage hinges on breathing fish balls and poof la poo pie, it's not worth saving, okay? So now, I am going up to bed into our tiny little single little bed, and we are going to sleep left to right if you'd like to join me tonight, okay?